There's talk videos, giveaways, TikToks and polls, plus how to try and break the people who are impersonating this channel. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, where today we've got rather a lot of news in a channel update, a really big League of Votan giveaway, a new experiment with short form videos, but first of all a few words about purging some scammers that are targeting the channel. A few of you might have noticed this already, YouTube and Facebook are both generally places where fake accounts like to try and prey on the unwary. The channel has been targeted a few times in the past with this, but at least over the last week or so it seems that people have been creating new accounts on the channel daily and trying to sucker people into direct messaging them, no doubt to try and steal their credit card details or some sort of payment of money. It's a hassle to deal with, but I thought I'd just update people here for how you might be able to best assist the channel in destroying these and help with the inevitable game of whack-a-mole when they pop up. The typical format that these fake posts take are usually fake channels or Facebook pages with the channel logo icon, usually called something like Allspects Tactics, either in a weird funny font or message Allspects Tactics on Telegram or some other slight variation on the name. These accounts usually try and post in replies to other people's comments, probably to try and allow them to escape detection. I did notice that escalated a little bit in the recent times as they made an entire fake Facebook page to try and mimic the official one for the channel. Superficially similar, but no content posted on it, and few interactions barring a bunch of people saying that this is a scam. I think most people on social media are fairly savvy to this kind of thing, but I guess it always has the potential to catch the unwary, particularly as this is a channel that does giveaways, so that potentially gives them a tempting hook to try and sucker people in, claim that you've won something, and then say that you can only get the prize once you've paid a delivery fee or something. In general, I'll basically never ask it to direct message anyone on a YouTube comment or a Facebook post, particularly if it's spammed across a bunch of similar comments, though I can only imagine that they occasionally have some success for doing this, otherwise they wouldn't be trying it on in the first place. When I see these accounts, it usually takes me seconds to block them. It must take them more time to set up the account and spam out the comments than it does for me to click and dismiss them, but obviously there can be a bit of a lag time, seeing as I'm not tuned into YouTube literally 24 hours a day so sometimes there might be a delay before I can just delete them. I've filtered a bunch of common words that a lot of scam people seem to use in their comments, either crypto, whatsapp and telegram are now words that will basically get hidden if they're used in a comment on the channel. I'm sure that will catch a few innocent comments in the crossfire, but I think the benefits outweigh the downside, just don't use those words in comments, otherwise it's going to get auto-hidden. Otherwise, for ways that you can help, if you do spot a deceptive comment, if you do fancy a bit of a quick helping out, maybe you could also reply to the comment with something like, this is a scam, avoid this link. If a fair few people on the channel did do that regularly, then I imagine that most of these scam comments would get covered, and it might potentially stop someone who's inexperienced from falling victim to one. In particular, if you do see any other fa Facebook pages set up to ape the channel, I absolutely encourage anyone who fancies covering them in comments saying that this is a scam page, I feel like they wouldn't get far if a whole bunch of people commented on them with that kind of thing. Otherwise, you can let me know about them on Facebook or Discord. That's usually the fastest way to get a response. Though I admit, if I do get spammed by an absolute ton of DMs for people reporting comments, it will take time to reply to them. So I might well be farming out some stock responses, just so it doesn't distract too much from creating videos, as of course that's the main thing that I need to dedicate my time to. Hopefully, if they do just keep on getting promptly banned, then they'll just stop bothering, as it probably won't be worth their time. Otherwise, any other ideas for dealing with spam comments are appreciated. It might be that I need to look into some sort of channel moderator system. I'm afraid I've not had time to research that yet. Depending on how easy and safe that is to implement, it could be a road to go down. In any case, an annoying subject to be talking about, but hopefully we can win the war against the scammers. Otherwise, for news on the channel, it's certainly been a very busy month, and it looks like there's plenty more stuff to come. We've only just had the Demons Codex come out, so it'll be interesting to see what sort of impact that makes on the meta. I'll be aiming to make a few more demonic videos, including a tier list and perhaps some unit reviews. Always fun to have a new and revamped faction to talk about in the game. Otherwise though, I made a bit of an experiment video looking at every Space Marine box set in 40k. A bit of a different angle, talking about the actual models rather than the units. I'm hopefully going to be experimenting with a few more on a similar format. If they do seem like they're useful to people, I'll hopefully try and keep them coming, maybe one for each faction. Obviously a big project, I expect them to be dropping like every couple of weeks or so. Otherwise there have of course been the leagues of Botan, loads of model reveals, and of course rules leagues as well. It's going to be interesting to explore the codex in a bit more detail. So far the new space dwarves are looking mighty, though not without their weaknesses as we talked about in the last video. I've also been experimenting with shorts content as well, I'll mention that a bit more in a second. Otherwise, plans going forward are a lot more Leagues of Votan content in the short term, 
Hopefully we'll try and get a proper review video done for each of their units in the book, plus a few other things like a tier list and looking at the individual leagues maybe. Otherwise I'd quite like to get a Demon's Army tier list done at some stage, a few more of those every box set videos, and there's a couple more projects I've already finished, including a Tau Empire army overview, a top 10 of Firstborn Marine units, I'm sure we'll have plenty more to talk about with the news and reveals things, as always a busy looking time on the channel. Giveaways next! I can now officially announce that the September winners for the Age of Darkness box are Dane Winton and Harvey de Casa Gomez. Very sorry if I'm butchering that pronunciation. I have contacted both of you. If you're watching right now, just let me know and I'll have the boxes ready to post. Otherwise, I thought with all the buzz around the leagues of Votan and them confirmed to be coming out in September, I thought we'd make the October giveaway for three copies of their launch box, the one with the 20 Hearthkin Warriors, the Hermkin Pioneers, the Carl and the Einheer Champion. Looks like it's also the first place that you can get your hands on the League's Codex as well. Seemed like a decent one to choose, it's not like 40k gets a brand new faction every year. As always with the channel giveaways, there's two equal ways to enter, both links down in the video description. You can either support the channel Patreon for any amount, that gets you automatic entry each month, I do keep these giveaways coming once a month, or you can support on social media for free. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the Facebook page, and to enter the draw on the 1st of October, you take a picture of a 40k miniature or any imagery with your name and the date handwritten within the same picture. Last bit to try and deter Facebook bots. Obviously with what I said earlier, don't respond to people who are pretending to be me with a dodgy page. The winners for the draws are announced in the equivalent of this video on the 4th of the month each month. In any case, once the entrants are in, I pull all the Facebook and the social media entries. The winners are picked with a random number generator and I'll post out the boxes to you wherever you might live. Should hopefully be a fun way to start a new faction for a few people, and it will keep the giveaways coming once every month. Check out the Facebook page or the Patreon down in the video description if you're interested in entering. Moving on, we've gone from Auspex Tactics to Auspex TikToks, where as I'm sure a few of you will have noticed, I've been experimenting with a few shorts on the channel. Supposedly YouTube is pushing them quite a bit at the moment, so a fair few content creators are giving them a shot, and seeing as they're quite quick, easy and fun to make, I'm not against doing that particularly as I do feel that short bite-sized chunks are quite a nice way to consume content. Sometimes you might be in the mood for a 10 minute long video, other times you might just want to see something quick and easy. I thought they could be fun to put on TikTok as well, maybe to give a little bit of cross-platform reach to the channel, and they don't seem like they're going to do a lot of harm overall, so they're going to be fun as an experiment. For the video format, I do quite like making short unit overviews. The channel basically started out doing literally nothing but that, so it seems like quite a nice return to form. And my current plan is to do a month or two of one short video every day, and then reassess whether or not it's actually worth it, both in terms of how much people are enjoying them, and whether or not they're helping the channel out and making it grow. For those who aren't aware, the short video format doesn't really make any real revenue, but it can be a way to help people find the channel, and at least anecdotally, quite a lot of people like the punchy short bite-sized info have been mainly trying to make them largely aimed at beginners. I know they're not for everyone, but in general they're not going to impact the other content on the channel, as they really don't take all that long to make, there'll still be one or two long form videos coming pretty much every day. You won't miss a whole ton if you just choose to skip them out. I guess it remains to be seen whether or not people do like the short form unit overview PowerPoint type things. It's a new format to me, and maybe the channel is just not really styled for it, but in the meantime they're going to be a fun experiment. I look forward to hearing any thoughts on the short series down in the comments, any other directions that I could take it, or ways that I might improve. Finally, last but not least in this rather meaty channel update, we have a new Patreon poll. I do keep them coming fairly regularly to see what sort of direction the channel should go in next. For this one, I thought we'd focus on the army overview style of videos, where we go through basically each section of the codex and their units, talk about the strong stuff and a couple of lists. They're fairly big effort videos, but they're fun to make and aim to be a bit of an anchor point for the faction. I've at least fairly recently done one for Orcs, Admech, Thousand Sons and Sisters. There's the Tau Empire one coming out fairly shortly, so these are all conceivable choices that could come next. I've asked people to pick their favourite two. I'll try and prioritise the top two answers, plus get to work on any others that just randomly inspire me as we go along. For channel patrons, feel free to check that out over on the page at the moment, and a big thank you for all your support in keeping the channel going. So anyway, I think we'll just about leave that there. Hopefully we'll continue to win the war against the scammers and stop people getting ripped off. As always, I'm looking forward to plenty of other interesting videos coming on the channel. Loads to cover for the leagues of Botan, and plenty more besides. As always, a big thank you to the channel's patron supporters as well. If you do want to help out, then the link is down in the video description. It does keep the videos on the channel going, plus you get some advantages like being entered for the prize draws automatically. 
and voting on the polls to see what comes next. In any case though, an absolutely massive thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.